My name is Dio Elegre. I'm a digital entrepreneur. I think that's the best way to describe me. Um, I started uh, my career um, in traditional media for an advertising agency called Abbott Mead Vickers in London uh, before eventually uh, joining a digital marketing company. Um, I started my businesses very recently. Um, well, you can say recently, but I'll say about six years ago. Actually, my start in digital media was born out of a passion for the internet. When I graduated from university, um, it was during the dot-com boom, and I saw people around me making millions from this new medium called the internet. So I knew from the get-go that I wanted to be involved in that. I was lucky enough to get my first start with um, the world's biggest digital marketing agency at the time, agency.com. I was their first graduate recruit, actually, um, which was quite exciting. So it really got me to see um, the first wave of, of digital. I remember the first time I, I, I first had a, a meeting with a, a marketing director in Nigeria and I was explaining the concept of digital marketing and it was like a very alien. Um, I think the best way to describe it is if you look at a normal, if you look at a traditional marketing services business like an ad agency or a media agency, um, you think about doing all those different functions but for the digital environment. And what I mean by digital is anything that we can access the internet via. So your PC, your mobile device, um, your tablet. Increasingly, you know, there's a plethora of devices that you can access the internet via. And there is a unique or a very specific way to use those channels to communicate with people, to start a dialogue between a, you know, a brand and a consumer. And what we do is we specialize in these areas. Now, what many people say is, well, isn't it just like marketing services? Isn't it just another channel? Well, it's a very different channel because it takes a specialist knowledge and also behavior on it is also very different. So you need an understanding of that or you need an insight into how people behave via these channels as well as the technologies you can employ. When I first started my business, I had quite a few years, a number of years experience with digital marketing. So it wasn't too difficult in terms of um, how to run a business. I think the, the, the big learning curve for me was when we moved to Nigeria, when I finally decided to move from London to Nigeria and getting accustomed to sort of the various challenges that are, are in our environment. Um, but I would say that the opportunities far outweigh the challenges, so it's been, it's been worthwhile. Um, my highlights of my experience in Nigeria has been working with, with people not just partners, but also clients that I see as partners. Uh, so really working with forward-thinking brands that have really allowed us to push the envelope with their brand. I think we have a great opportunity to show the world our perspective of, of you know, digital marketing and some of the brands in Nigeria allow, allowing us to do that. I think you know, Coca-Cola is not only the biggest brand in the world, it's also, in my mind, one of the most um, forward-thinking brands. So a lot of the work we've done for uh, Coca-Cola has been great, and I think the people there have been also very, um, you know, have played a really key role in allowing us to do great work with the brand. I think one of the biggest challenges that um, we face, both as an agency um, and even as a brand ourselves, is really education. And what I mean by education is uh, educating, you know, the people that increasingly spend money with on these channels, the clients. So it's about getting them to understand that um, number one, they need to be spending, a, they need to be paying a lot more attention to the digital channels. So they need to be paying a lot more attention to spending more money. So, um, for instance, the single most important channel out there for any type of marketing communications is mobile. Um, yet, majority of us spend most of our time on our mobile devices and yet many brands don't understand how to use that or harness that channel to communicate their brand communications. Like many industries in Nigeria, um, it's a great opportunity for young people getting it. You know, if I was going to advise anybody getting into this marketing services industry, I would say definitely think digital. It's a, it's a growing area. Um, you know, we're constantly looking for skilled staff. Um, you know, it's massive. You know, every, every, every aspect of media creative industries in Nigeria is growing, but more so digital. It's exploding. And I think our problem is not 
really a lack of opportunity, but really a lack of really skilled staff. I have people that I admire, um, you know, people that have done great things in, in business that I admire, um, you know, from really old school guys like Rupert Murdoch, you know, I admire some of the things that he's done in terms of taking a very humble business in Australia and turning it into the biggest media business in the world. I even admire people like, you know, um, Mark Zuckerberg, believe it or not, even though he's a very young entrepreneur. Um, he's done a lot of things to kind of shape, you know, digital marketing and digital thinking. Um, so I would say, yeah, those, those are my sort of role models, if you, if you have it. Like, what, what would I tell a younger version of myself, starting off in business, knowing the things that I know now? Um, I think what I would say is be patient. Um, I would say it will happen. Um, and enjoy it. Enjoy the process. I think, you know, um, I remember when we first got, you know, got started in Nigeria and trying to convince brands about the merits of thinking digital. And it seemed like such a difficult task. I mean, we, we went months on end without getting any kind of feedback, any kind of communication from the clients. And it was a little bit discouraging. But then I remembered when, we, when I started in the UK, it was very similar. Um, but it changed very, very quickly. And I think the speed at which it has changed in Nigeria has also been equally as rapid. So I think my advice would be just be patient, um, get good at your, your, you know, get good at your work. Um, and it, it'll, it'll come, the rewards will come. I think in terms of the values that I think is important, not just for um, entrepreneurs who want to go into the digital area, but entrepreneurs generally, is insight, I think you need to gain some insight into the market you're trying to get into. I think you need to have great integrity. I think you need to want to develop a product that delivers on its promises to its uh, consumers. And I think you need to be courageous. Um, so those will be, will be the, the values that I think are most important. I think in the next five years, we won't recognize our, our, our market. I think our market will be great and change in all aspects of creative industry. I think we're already starting to see some organization you know, we're starting to see the introduction of things like the Mobile Marketing Association, which is the premier professional services association for mobile marketers. That's going to bring a lot of structure into the market. Um, and I so happen to be co-chair of that as well. But it's bringing a lot of structure to the market. You're starting to see a lot of young entrepreneurs starting to do interesting things with business models. So in the next five years, this, this, landscape, this landscape is going to be completely different.